Benicio Del Toro has carved out a, an incredible career, could have followed his family into law, but chose acting uh, instead. Either way, if you're in law or you're in movies, you need to come up with uh, winners, and he's certainly done that. Benicio, welcome to 3AW. Thank you, thank you for having me. Did you have any thoughts to follow the family into law? Um, uh, not, not really, not really. Um, maybe, maybe there was a moment there, but you know, when I saw the amount that you have to read to be a lawyer, that kind of like put a damper on my decision to become a lawyer. So, so I decided to go into acting, and then I realized you still have to read quite a bit. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. Your, you do. your father was a lawyer. Your mum was involved with law. Mm -hmm. Your godmother with law. You could have done your own contracts. I could. I could have. Uh, I could have had some help there. Um, you know, the the, the thing that uh, that lawyers do that is similar to actors um, is that. They have to convince people of the truth. <laughs> and then that could be like uh, quite shady in some places. You, um, in Savages, from right very early in the movie, um, in a character that is really, has no sort of redeeming features, you capture and steal the movie. I'm sure I'm not the first person who has said that. Wow. Um, well, and thank you, but I, you know, I don't know. I, just, I don't see it kind of like that. My opinion: Other people steal the movie in the film, but uh, thank you. Thank you, but you, you do something that I've that I've noticed in movies from decades past, where you've got that that pause, the beautiful pause, uh, while you're delivering a look to the camera, uh -huh. the break in the line. It just it entices the person who's watching, and I don't see that as with many other people. Maybe it's me. Maybe I was super impressed with what you were doing, but that pause is just so important. I, um, I I take it as a compliment and thank you, but uh, I don't I don't I don't know if I if I if I'm conscious doing it. Um, uh, but um, I have to say that the reason why I was involved earlier in this film was because of Oliver Stone, the director, and perhaps that made the the approach to working the approach to working on this film <clears throat> uh, serious and uh, and uh, you know working with someone like Oliver Stone and also you know I have to give credit to the cast because uh, I believe that you're only as good as the actor that you're working with so uh, Selma Hayek slapped you she, she slapped me many times oh did she well you know that's they, they used one take of maybe 17 I think there were uh, moments I was going like who's really slapping me here is it uh, Salma or is it Oliver Stone? Um, <laughs> but uh, but you know she's a pro, and uh, um, it, it, I have to say that after a while, you know, I started thinking it's not too bad to be slapped by Salma Hayek. Is, uh, is, is it at <laughs> yeah. that moment when you're also thinking I'm getting really well paid for this, just suffer? Uh, yeah, yeah. And then there was uh, I, I remember that um, that day the, um, her husband was on the set. So after slap number 12, I kind of looked at him and we had this moment of like bonding, <laughs> you know, like we had this moment of like, okay, I know, I know what you deal with or, or you better watch this and behave. How long have you enjoyed the work of Oliver Stone? What, what did it mean? You, you mentioned it before, but what did it mean to you to, to be asked to be a part of this? And to, um, is that one of the things that you've strived for? You know, uh, yeah, I think Oliver Stone is one of those filmmakers, um, one of the few filmmakers out there that um, I think for any uh, filmmaker, um, he his work um, allows other filmmakers, it doesn't matter what position you're playing in films, to feel that it's okay to dare. He's, he's, uh, his, uh, his whole career has been a risk. And, um, and he's been successful at it. So, so to me, working with someone like that made it, uh, made it special. And um, I've been a fan of many of his films. Um, and uh, so, so, so working with, uh, as an actor, when you have a director like that, that calls you up and says, I want, I want to work with you. And that's pretty exciting. 
when you have a filmmakers like uh, Oliver Stone, I've had the pleasure of working with many very good filmmakers. So he's he's one of those that um that I highly respect and uh, and is um, directly or indirectly he's a motivator. Just one final question, uh, Wolfman. Is there a chance that that could still, for you, be perhaps a franchise for the future? Uh, I, you know, I don't make those decisions. I like the idea, though, mm -hmm. but uh, but I don't make those decisions. I mean, uh, there, but as long as as long as um, there is live, there is hope. So. Um, um, so I, 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 but I don't make those decisions. Um, but I, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of the film. But, um, but I don't, I don't make those decisions. But if they, if they came in and said, hey, you know, we're gonna do another one. We want you involved in it. I would definitely jump to the, to the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, what's next? Well, I have a, a film call that I, that I finished. I still have a scene to do for, or a couple scenes to do for this film. It's called, AKA Jimmy Picard. It's, um, it's a film directed by Arnaud de Plachon. He's a French director, young director, um, that, um, that we just finished in shooting in Detroit and Montana. And, um, and that's right now what it's in the, in the can. Well, lovely to have you on 3RW and congratulations on a magnificent performance in Savages. Well, thank you very much, very kind.